The Americans landed in Luzon, January 9, 1945, almost unopposed. Their mission was to liberate the USD internees, the prisoners of war in Kabaynatuan. They thought the Japanese would just surrender. They almost forgot the Japanese believe in Bushido to die rather than surrender. And so the Japanese made Manila as their battleground. And the civilians were caught in between. The Americans entered Manila in February 3, 1945. But they told the priests here in San Marcelino, Yes, the Americans might come, but you are not going to see them. The Japanese made their last stand, fanatic stand. Only a few surrendered. In that case, the San Marcelino area was also a battlefield, one of the most deadly battlefield, with the church, the seminary, and St. Teresa's as a bastion of Japanese defenders. UST was liberated on the 3rd, 4th, and the 5th of February. The American internees suffered malnutrition. This is Belibid Viejo, the last one to die before the liberation. The Sherman tanks. Manila became a deadly battlefield, especially Zauto in Manila. Manila, the once pearl of the Orient, became a total wasteland. And this is Ermita area. One hundred thousand unarmed civilians perish. And among those one hundred thousand civilians, were 10 Spanish Vincentians, members of the Congregation of Missions, then known as Padres Paules, from the Congregation of the Missions. February 9, 1945, 10 Spanish missionaries, Congregation of the Missions, together with several Chinese residents, who were renting a portion of San Marcelino, were bayoneted to death by the Japanese Marines at the bank of the Madistero de Balete, San Marcelino Street, Manila. May they all rest in peace. Among them, the parish priests for 15 years, Father Jose Fernandez, Father Adolfo Soto, a theology professor, was very ill during that time. Father Jose Tejada, 
was known as a good confessor and chaplain of the Spicio de San Jose. Father Jose Aguirreche, Brother Valentin Santidrian, Brother Antolin Marcos Prado, They were just first of the casualties, first of the countless massacres versus the Manila clergy. This is the exact place where the Vincentians, the ten Vincentians, together with several Chinese residents, were lined up and their backs tied with a rope so they won't escape. It happened 10 in the evening, and the Japanese now lined up, up near the creek, the Stero de Balete, and stabbed them one by one with their bayonets. Sparing no one, and they were thrown to the muddy Stero. Some were still alive and dying. Only one Chinese survived to tell the story. Among them were Father Jose Fernandez, 54 years old, well-known Spanish poet and Paris priest of San Marcelino. Jose Tejada, 55, Provincial Director of the Congregation of the Missions and Secretary of the Administration Department of Hospicio de San Jose. Julio Ruiz, 54, Procurator of the Community and Chaplain of Hospicio de San Jose, an orphanage. He was also very sick. Adolfo Soto, 60, very ill and former theology professor of San Pablo Seminary and San Carlos Seminary. Jose Aguirreche, 53, assistant to the parish priest. Luis Ejeda, 64 years old, who was very sick. The religious brothers of the Congregation of the Missions were Brother Antolin Marcos Prado, 73 years old. Brother Valentin Santidrian, who was about to turn to 44 on the 12th of February. Brother Gregorio Indurain, 75 years old. And Brother Alejandro Garcia. May they all rest in peace. Unknown to many, the area around Adamson University was a deadly battlefield. Japanese snipers chose not to surrender. In St. Teresa's building and the Central Seminary, now Adamson University's main building. After they killed the Vincentians and the Chinese residents here, the following day, they did the greatest atrocity at the German club. Here, 800 Filipinos, mostly residents around San Marcelino, sought shelter, thinking this was the safest place, as their houses were about to be burned by the Japanese. Five Germans played an important role. They stayed here rather to go to, to other places where the Germans were safer to defend the Filipinos, but they too got killed. Only 10 survived to tell the story. The biggest massacre committed by the Japanese in a given area, 800 to 1,000. 
children were not spared. Women were gang raped. The others died from the fire. They were trapped. The others who chose to escape died from the bullets, bayonets, sword. May they all rest in peace. The church and the building were damaged severely. Ermita area was just part of the whole scenario. The ones proud Pearl of the Orient became a total wasteland. This is the St. Vincent Central Seminary. This is where the Ten Vincentians and the Chinese were buried. You see at the background the St. Teresa's College, now a part of Adamson University, was heavily damaged.